It's earned. Um, when you hike the summit, it's earned. You get off the chair and you look up to the top and it doesn't seem that far. But by the time you trot up there and, and you get to the top and you look around at the mountains and everything that's below you, you realise that it's just such a special feeling. It's strange that I've always as a child used to think about standing on the top of a mountain and it might be a scary, spooky thing. But then as you get older and you realise you can physically do it, it's a pretty special occasion to stand up there for anyone to look around, especially up towards the Southern Alps, towards Aspiring, uh, back towards Mount St. Bathans and Monica, up towards Mount Cook. It's, it's just incredible. That is one of the most stunning views that you'll ever get. It was interesting because the way TC used to be is that we had the saddle tee and what we'd do is you'd basically get to the top where uh, Raffles Run pretty much starts now and you used to hike up the ridge line there to the top and it was pretty wicked to go and stand up the top of those rocks and look back down. Now obviously it's, it's a real rite of passage and, and obviously a lot higher to get there. You don't have to walk quite so far. <laughs> There was always the, the aim in the back of the head. It's amongst all the families and friends that we had and growing up with the kids all skiing and everyone wanted to get the kids up to the top just to experience the things I was just talking about before. We made sure it was a special day before the end of the season of the year that they you know, chose to do it. Got up there, bluebird, smiley faces, a few lollies and then into it. I think you were allowed to have a big rest after that one, that was a big mission. The run down is amazing. There's so many great lines, uh, everyone's got their own little favourite, and the biggest smiles when they get down. Generally there's no friends or family on a powder day, so... <laughs> He'll be saying that to me surely. <laughs> Sorry Dad, you're all, no. Not skiing with you, you know, you're a bit slow, so <laughs> you don't do backflips. One of the things I, I look back at it now with my, you know, Max turns 12 today, is just that that time's gone by so fast, and I probably wish things to step through so fast, and rather than probably stepping back and just and cherishing everything a little moment a little bit more, but. You are second term was horrible. Yeah. Oh, it was dreadful, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Let's go, I'm blown away now that I can't keep up with my son down Main Street anymore, which is just, <laughs> that's insane. Um, and it's their, their appreciation now for off-piece skiing at the mountains, just going from strength to strength. And, you know, just that video you took of us the other day, going down there, a boy behind me, is just, that's something I'll cherish to the day I die. It was a very, very magical moment. I just want skiing for my family in the future to be one of uh, joy and happiness. You know, it's, uh, it's, that's the reason I do it. It's the, the big smile you get when you're with your friends, with your family, and they just, you get down, have a great run, you link together some turns that make you smile, you do something a bit stupid, but you seem to somehow stay on your feet. And uh, I just want it to be that for my family with the years going forward, and hopefully when I'm I'm older that I can still be a part of the, obviously their lives and you know their their kids, and I'm very lucky. Like my father, um, he'll come skiing with us, and he was just the most mad, passionate skier, and that's the reason why I ski. And hopefully, this ability to have great granddad, granddad, dad, 
and grandson one day. That would be, that's, that's a goal. See if we can make that one happen.